Welcome back to Cooking or Something Like It. Uh, my name is Jody. Before we get started today, a little bit of administrative stuff. Uh, make sure you check out our Facebook page, Cooking or Something Like It. If you like the videos, you like the posts, please share it uh, with your friends, family, pets, whoever you feel like. Uh, the more likes, the more uh, people we get watching it, the, the more we are encouraged to keep doing this. And I do get a lot of positive feedback, so I think you guys do enjoy it, and I'd like to keep doing it. So we also have a YouTube channel, an Instagram page, and a Twitter account. You can find those on our website, which is cooking or something like it.com. Just go to the contact us tab and all of those addresses are there. You should also just be able to search for it. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, normally you would not see us starting to shoot in the daytime like this. Most of the time we're doing these after work and uh, it's in the evening, but it's a Sunday and today we are going to do something that takes a little bit longer. So I'm going to start this early. We are going to do a mango barbecue pulled pork in the crock pot. So this is going to take about six hours to cook, give or take. So I need to get this done early. Um, I need to get it in the crock pot early. So the first thing we're going to do is get our dry rub ready. Now, let me take a step back for a second. This is a bone in pork shoulder. Now you can buy these at the grocery store. They're really not that expensive. I think this whole piece was... 13 or 14 dollars. Most grocery stores will put a little sticker on them that says great for pulled pork. Uh, sometimes it's also called a picnic, a pork picnic. Uh, same type of cut. There are, some are bone in, some are boneless. I prefer the bone in, it gives you a little more flavor. When you shred the pork when it's done though, you just got to pull that bone out. It's not a big deal. Now you'll notice on this there is a fat cap on top here. You want to leave that on because that fat is going to drip through the meat as this cooks. So I'll show you, I'll get into that a little bit more later on, but for right now, let's get our dry rub going. So I have two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon onion powder, half a tablespoon black pepper, half a tablespoon ancho chili powder. Now if you don't have ancho chili powder, just use regular chili powder. And a tablespoon of celery salt. So we're gonna take all of these, and we're going to mix them together. Now, I know you're looking at this and it looks like a lot of powder, and it is. We're going to cook this for a really long time. So we want to essentially coat this thing with a pretty thick covering of spices. We want them to really get in there. So because this is going to make a little bit of a mess, I'm going to actually do this in the crock pot. This is just the ceramic insert to my crock pot. So I'm going to take this I'm sure that was great for the camera. I'll take that piece of meat, just rinse my hands off real quick. And I'm actually going to start with it with the meat side up. Because when I finish this, I want the fat to be on top. So I'm going to take this and liberally apply it. It should almost look like a crust. Now you got to figure, you're putting this on really, really thick on the outside, but there's a lot of meat there that this flavor has to get through. All right. Now, just give that a little bit of a press just to kind of get it in there. And then we're going to take this and we're going to flip it over. Now, like I said, you want that fat on top because as this cooks in that slow cooker, that fat will slowly start to dissolve and it's going to run down through the rest of the meat. And that's what's going to keep it nice and tender. And it's going to give it a heck of a lot of flavor too. Now, because this is fat, you can go really liberal with the salt or with the seasoning. I mean, um, we're going to probably not discard all the fat because there's a lot of flavor there, but it's not going to be as spicy as it may look like it's going to be. Right. Now, we do need to put some liquid in here. So I have about a cup and a half of water. And I have a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. You can use red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, um, balsamic vinegar if you want something with a little sweetness to it. We're going to add those in. Now, at this point, I'm going to take this. We're going to put it in our crock pot. I'm going to set this to low. 
and we will be back in a few hours to keep working on this. There's going to be a few steps to this. Um, we are doing, like I said, a mango. Uh, these are very ripe mangoes that I have, so we decided to do a mango barbecue sauce. I'm going to show you how to make that barbecue sauce from scratch. We're going to do some funky things with us today, so stick with us. This is going to be a day-long event. Hope you enjoy it. We'll be back with you. Okay, so we are about seven hours later, and the full pork is out of the pressure cooker, and not the pressure cooker, the uh, slow cooker. Um, it's easily coming apart to the touch now, so we're going to put it on our examination gloves. You don't have to do this, but it makes it a little easier. If you don't have gloves, don't worry about it. This is just a... Uh, all right, so we're going to take, and it's going to be hot, all right? Damn, it's really hot. All right, so we're going to take all that fat off to start with. And all of the meat that you pull off, it's really hot, all right? I need a fork. Don't worry. Gunner is here to the rescue to get everything that falls on the floor. So all this stuff that comes off, break it up with your hands like that, all right? Now, if it doesn't completely all come apart, that's okay, because we're going to cook this some more. Now, remember I said there was a bone in here that you're going to have to take off. See, that's pretty, that's not quite done yet, but we're going to pull this apart. All right, so... It's pulled pork, so we're literally pulling it apart. See the bone? Got it? All right. Breaking this up. Oh, it's hot. And I hate to say it, but you want to want to do this when it's still fairly hot. It's easier. It's a lot easier. All right, this chunk here. Is still kind of together. You can take the fork, try and pull it apart a little bit, cut it up, but if it doesn't come apart, just put it back in the crock pot, right? Whew, that's warm. All right, try and pull the fat off. All right, so this is still pretty together, so I'm just going to put that in there like that. Right? So we've got our pork in there, kind of as a whole. And over here, we've got just our fat and everything else. Now this, we're pretty much going to discard. We've cooked all the flavor out of that. All right, so here's all our pork. Now, I have here two mangoes. These are the two mangoes that have been sitting out since the start of this video, which I know for you guys is moments ago, but this has been eight hours, seven hours for us. So, and this is all the juice from cooking. We're gonna take about two cups, maybe a little more, two and a half cups. We're going to take some molasses. This is blackstrap molasses, right? For those of you who aren't familiar with molasses, molasses is made from sugar cane. This is the extract when they make sugar. It's kind of, it's sweet, but it's a little bit smoky still. So it doesn't have that just purified sweet sugar taste. We're going to take ketchup. So I put probably half a cup, half a cup of molasses. And I'm going to put probably a full cup of ketchup. Right? Now, I'm going to take the mango. And the mango is pretty much going to come apart as it cooks. Taking this, we're just cutting it up. 
into pieces. This is going to be our barbecue sauce. And I do apologize if my kitchen looks like a mess because it is totally a mess. Since we started this video, we have shot this video plus another video, which you'll see soon. And we're going to start mixing this all together. Now, barbecue sauce really is molasses, ketchup. I'm going to put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in there. This is your classic Worcestershire, you know, in the paper, paper wire. Gives it a little bit of smoky flavor. And we're going to take some pepper. teaspoon of pepper and my salt, excuse my salt. Got a teaspoon of salt. Probably one of the more important ingredients. Brown sugar. Now, we've talked about brown sugar before and you've all seen this brown sugar container so you know that it's all chunky. But with the liquid, it will dissolve. So that's about a half a cup of brown sugar. Okay. This is starting to boil. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this to a relatively stable consistency, get everything mixed together, and I'm going to pour it back into the pulled pork. So this is turned on, turn this back to high. is on. Got this blended together. I told you this was going to be an all-day event, but I promise, I promise it will be worth it. All right, so we're going to take this mixture. Now, I was just heating that just to get everything to blend together. We're going to take this. We're going to pour it over the pulled pork. Now remember I said some of that pulled pork wasn't quite pull apart a bowl yet, for lack of a better term. That's okay, because we're going to cook this again. All right, we're going to leave that just like that. We're going to put the lid on, and we'll be back to finish this off. And I promise it will be worth the wait. See you in a little bit. Okay, so we cooked the pulled pork yesterday. This is actually Monday. We filmed all that on Sunday. And last night it wasn't quite done and it got to be a little late. So we held it over till today, but I wanted to show you the finished product. So after we put the mango in with the barbecue sauce, we let it go another probably about three hours. And then I let this sit all day and then I turned it back on about oh, maybe an hour or so ago hour and a half ago so to finish this I'm just going to show you how I would serve this so we're going to take a little bit of pulled pork these are little onion rolls put some on each of these did you get those discount yesterday? I did they were on sale um, or you can do as my child is doing and literally pick it out of the crock pot with your bare hands. So we're going to take that, we're going to put a piece of cheese on it. Leave the tops right there. I have the broiler on high. I'm going to pull this out. And we're going to stick that in there. Now, I have made a little Asian slaw here that we're going to serve with this. So we're going to take, bring the camera over here if we can. 
So I'm going to take a little bit of the slaw, put that on there like that. And we're going to give those just a second to melt the cheese while the child continuously picks coleslaw out of the bowl with his bare hands. Really? <laughs> Anyways, so this won't take long with the broiler. You don't want to let them go too long because that cheese will burn if you let it go too long. So, set this over here, put that there. Don't forget the oven mitts. All right. There we go. The top bun is nicely toasted. The cheese is melted. Take one of these, put it just like that. And there you have it. Mango barbecued pulled pork with a side of Asian slaw. You can use this pulled pork any way you want. Uh, sandwiches are obviously the go-to, but you can eat it straight. Um, I've made cottage or shepherd's pie with it. It really comes out amazing. This pork turned out phenomenal. I would highly recommend it to anybody that's a pulled pork fan. My name is Jody. This has been Cooking or Something Like It on our marathon cooking spree here. We'll see you next time. I hope you like it. Trust me, try this one. You'll enjoy it. Until next time.